Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. What we're looking at in this video is a new feature for the Chromecast with Google TV and other updated Google TV devices. That would include TVs that run Google TV and other dongles, you know, things like the ONN version, things like that. I don't know who's got the update yet. I just know that we've got it on my Google Chromecast with Google TV. What we're showing you here is a bit on the interface. There are more and more options coming to this, but the big new addition is the new Live section. Live has been part of the Chromecast with Google TV for a while, but Google recently updated it to include a bunch more streaming channels available through this app. And you'll see that it breaks things down into multiple categories so that you can find things based on you know what it is that you're trying to enjoy at the moment. What they've done is partnered with a number of different services that provide the sort of 24-7 feeds that you might have gotten used to. We're talking about things like Pluto TV or Plex and you know, Haystack News, and a number of others. And so as you go through, like, for, for instance, this category, you'll see up in the left-hand corner, you know, it'll show you what it's coming from. So that's Tubi, and that one's from the Google TV grouping of free ad-supported channels, or Fasts, that's from Pluto. And see, it goes along like that for every category so that you can tell what source it's pulling from. A lot of these channels repeat themselves, you might notice, on these free channel things. And so what Google did was they pulled certain ones from certain channels, from you know, certain channels from certain apps in order to kind of balance things out, give everybody a chance to shine. And up here you'll see Sling TV. Sling TV channels don't come free on this system. But happened I just happen to have a subscription to Sling TV. So my Sling TV channels are also displayed in this live section. And that's really cool because it is a live TV service that I work with. Well, not that I work with, but that <laughs> works with the Google TV setup. And it's nice that I don't have to flip back and forth between this free stuff and just the Sling TV stuff. Sling TV itself has free channels, if you've never noticed. but. I like this interface a lot. This is building on something that's been built into Google TV forever, which was a little live section. It was a live TV app. It was never developed very, well, like very well, but Amazon had been working on a lot of this stuff, and I feel like Google TV finally caught up and is making something of it. I wanted to point this out that the lowest. The, the bottom tab here is called local, but understand this doesn't mean that every local channel that you can get in your area is on display. What this really is, is a bunch of news affiliate channels from all over the country. So if you happen to be, you know, for instance, here's channel nine, this is local out of Charlotte. I'm in Raleigh, so this isn't exactly local. But if I wanted to get something kind of local-ish, you know, some North Carolina type news, I could go to this. But you, you notice there's hundreds of them. So you want to use favorites in general. You see as it's selected, there's a little star in the corner. You just press that main button on your controller, the one that's in the middle of the directional thing, and it adds it to favorites. You can do that with more than just the news channels. But it's really helpful to do that because you see there's hundreds and hundreds of channels in general. So favorites is a big deal when you've got a situation like this. So we're going to just put together some favorites. We'll add a Euro News there. Let's see what else is on here. Clicking on through. You know, if you have relatives in India and you want to keep up with Hindi news, give it a favorite. Keep on going, and you actually see that it's in the international section right there. All right, let's bump up. 
you know, put something in there for the kids, some Nick Jr., Garfield and Friends. That was a that was around when I was a kid. Totally Turtles. And so now there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing on there. You know, we can add some sports. I mean, you could really add anything. It's, I'm just choosing, you know. We could have done gaming and lifestyle and nature and travel otherwise. But I'm just sort of giving you a feel for it. So now that you go back up here in favorites, we now have 10 channels. And so, you know, I think that people will appreciate that. Because having hundreds and hundreds of channels at your disposal is nice, but being able to find the things that you like the most and putting them in favorites does make life quite a bit easier than at least you're only scrolling through a couple of things. But you always have the option to just click through, kind of like the old days, channeling you know through everything you got but that is in general what you need to do here now if you want to get this and you don't have it yet you're going to want to go up into the corner here and you notice you have to select the little gear which will bring you to this menu where you can do updates in some cases your system can maybe it even has an automatically downloaded update you can go in and just tell it to reset by going into the systems and going to restart. You could do that, maybe it'll pop back on and you'll have your update. But if you need to force an update, you go to about and you just click on system update. You click that same button, that main button, it'll pull up this menu, it'll look for your update says that we've got an update ready to go so I can download it for this video I'm not going to do it I'll just update it when I'm done with the video honestly but that's what you have to do now I don't know if this is going to be available specifically for the like the Nvidia Shield or other things that work with Android TV but as far as Google TV goes this is how that system is going to be working going forward it looks like a good update something that people will enjoy a lot of people you know, still really prefer what we call lean back TV and that's what the industry types call you know going through a TV grid and choosing programming that's lean back TV the lean back experience TV shouldn't have to be about what do you want to watch where do you want to watch it what specific original do you want to see sometimes you just want to go through and say what's on the news you know, what's, what's playing that I can watch for a couple of minutes before I head on onto the highway or something. So that's that. That is the Google TV live section. Like I said, specific to my Chromecast with Google TV. We're going to have other videos about Google TV because there's a lot of new settings to really dive into and have fun with. If you found this helpful, please subscribe. Share this video with your friends and click the little bell so that you can see updates as we go forward. As always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.